surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I was asked to make a makeup vanity. Now here's your typical makeup vanity and how it looks. But I wanted something different, so I saw this online. And then I placed a picture side by side. And the one on the right looks very unique and different. And I love the way it opens as well. The storage seems like it's too big, so I'm going to make mine smaller using 12 inch form tube that I got from Home Depot. I'm gonna cut this to the pieces that I need for the project. When I'm done with the cutting, I'm gonna clean them all. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using a back of a poster frame that I used for a project but I didn't use the back and it's really really strong. So I'm going to be making circles and carve them out and attach them to each and every one of the cutouts that I just made. I'll be attaching what I just made to a pipe that I had at home that I cut it down to size. And then these that I got from Five Below are going to be the base. I'll measure the height of the base and then start attaching what I've just made to the pipe using hinges. I drew a line on the pipe that's going to guide me to make sure that the attachments come out straight. The pipe worked just fine, but I noticed that when I put it upright to stand, it was kind of tilting, so I changed that and I used the wood instead. I'll use a plastic round board at the top and I'll be attaching it with a little dowel that's going to be inserted at the top but with a screw at the bottom and then I'm going to use this little piece of hard cardboard to hold it in place and I will still have access to move it around. For the top, I'll be using large trifold foam boards that I've had at home. I cut it down to size and then I used tape at the openings and then I glued two together. These came out to be half inch thick and I made two. I'm gonna measure out the angle and then make the cuts so that it's going to fit at the top. I'll be attaching them together with cardboard. I'm going to fortify the inside with hard cardboard pieces. I left the space here for a drawer pull 
that I will be putting later in the future. After gluing all of the pieces, I still had enough space for the drawer. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue the top. I mentioned earlier that I'll be using these shelves as the base. And when I put them under what I just made, I wanted it to be like this, but I wasn't really satisfied with the way it looked. So I had to go with something similar to what I see in the picture. So on the right, I'm gonna be using these items, starting off with a hoop by cutting it down to size. and then attaching the dolls to the pizza pan. And that will be for the right. Now all the holes you see here are because I removed all the attachments on the right. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it gold. To enable me to attach this to the top, I had to cover both sides of the top with plastic sheets. These sheets are sold at Home Depot for $10 and $10 gives you a very large roll of plastic sheets. After the attachment, I noticed that the pan was small, so I changed it and used something wider. I covered the opening on the hoop with gems. I'll be covering the sides of the storage with smooth poster board that I got from Walmart. I then cover the inside with contact paper. All of them are mobile except the one at the bottom that is permanently attached to the base. I covered the entire top with white glossy contact paper and I attached Dollar Tree mirrors at the top. I want to show you guys some few additions that I made to the back. I added a hard roll that is used for fabric at the back and I also added another wooden dowel at the back. Now this is going to make it much more sturdy and balanced. I attached push lights that are operated with the remote to an existing mirror that I already had. This is how the vanity turned out and I love the way it looks. It looks so unique and different. I know it's a little bit off from the main picture because of the size of the storage and maybe the right side as well. But then I love the way this one turned out because it's still pretty. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.